Happy World Behavior Analysis Day! Have you been celebrating with us all week? We hope you have, whether you are a behavior analyst by certification or license, or you are just interested in the science. The purpose of this year's commemoration, our second annual, is to bring us all together to honor this one science, behavior analysis. We heard from so many behavior analysts this week who celebrated the reason why they became a behavior analyst. All of them using the science in a variety of fields, such as in business, education, sports, and we recognize that even if you aren't a behavior analyst, the laws of behavior still affect you. Ever been to a sporting event? That's frequency data they take on the scoreboard. I use the bathroom when I need to, except if there's an out of order sign. That's an S delta, a behavior analysis term, meaning that a stimulus in the environment is showing that a typical behavior will not be reinforced. Did you know that the signs on a store door reminding you to mask up are a visual prompt? That is a behavior cue to remind someone of the encouraged behavior. Ever hear a credit card machine beep to alert you to remove a credit card? That's an auditory prompt, a behavior cue to alert someone of encouraged behavior. It's also negative reinforcement. You engage in a behavior of removing your car during an aversive noise to relieve yourself of the sound. Just like a seatbelt alarm that reminds you to buckle up. One term behavior analysts use a lot is positive reinforcement. And the reason we use it so much is because it's how people learn. An everyday example is when you do something spectacular at work and receive a bonus or a raise, which motivates you to continue to engage in spectacular behavior at work. Another example might be a teacher using a new instructional strategy in attempts to increase student engagement or achievement. If her students get better grades or start gaining skills as an outcome, her continued use of the instructional strategy is the result of positive reinforcement that occurred in the form of student achievement. Those are just a few examples we celebrated, showing how the principles of behavior analysis are used not only by behavior analysts, but by everyone, every day. Hopefully this week, you also had a chance to see some of the behavior analysts whose lives we honored as they recently passed away. They, along with countless other scientists, helped the world to comprehend the principles of behavior. Without them, the science of behavior would still exist. But who would understand it? Thank you for celebrating with us. As you can see, behavior analysis brings us all together. Whether you study the science or not, like all of us, you are impacted by the laws of behavior, which is as good a reason as any to celebrate the science. Many countries all around the world commemorate World Behavior Analysis Day and honor the science and principles of behavior analysis. This science is all around us and brings us all together. Remember, we are together in one science. Behavior analysis. Yachad b'mada echad. Mituach itnagu. Man, ti'ayim en'wechad tahdil sinu. Ti'ayim en'wechad tahdil sinu. Ti'ayim en'wechad Juntos en una ciencia. Análisis de la conducta. Insieme in un'unica scienza, l'analisi del comportamento. Sama Sama, sei Sam Abraham. Vesti in una nauca, poveridinsco analisi. Together in one science, behavior analysis. Bertatu dalam satu ilmu, analisis perilaku. Kuba viena zinane, uzvedibas analize. Happy World Behavior Analysis Day, everyone. On behalf of the World Behavior Analysis Day Alliance, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for joining us in celebrating the second annual World Behavior Analysis Day. We hope you enjoyed the festive activities we offered you throughout the week, honoring the science of behavior analysis. 
together in one science, behavior analysis. And happy birthday, B.F. Skinner!